it's Jenny from Calai Campus and this is an introduction to our Mazda Bongo camper van. Um, I want to show you a little bit about the features of the van and this is um, obviously our high top camper van, it's a three berth so, um, and it's an automatic gearbox as well. So come inside and I'll show you a bit about the van interior. As you can see, we are now in the inside of the van and this is the seating area where you can comfortably sit um, three to four people having their breakfast or their tea. Prepared on uh, this um, mm. stove, it's a, it's a two gas mm. uh, stove with um, a little um, sink as well. Yeah, and it's gas operated and I'll show you later where the gas bottle compartment is. But um, also important is to mention that we have here our control panel. And this control panel is uh, straightforward and quite easy to understand. You switch it on and then you have your lights as well. That's operating the inside LEDs for your seating area. Um, you have your sink and you can always check on the uh, level of your leisure battery. The, level, the leisure battery it charges when you drive and uh, it also charges when you are hooked up on the campsite. So, um, let me show you the, um, the space that we've got in here. We've got plenty of storage down below under this seat. Um, you can store your own belongings in here quite easily, but we also provide you with a heater for the maybe a bit colder days. Yeah. Um, under this seat also we have a socket I'm just going to lift the table as you can see. This socket operates when you are hooked up on the campsite and it is a full power socket. Behind me, quite hidden, is a little, is a little uh, switch for the fridge. The fridge operates separately from the control panel so that uh, when the fridge is filled you can switch the fridge on and the fridge is going to run um, yeah, during your stay. Um, we also have up here in the roof, the roof is really quite spacious, we have plenty of storage um, for bedding or for your own belongings, quite safe, stored up here. We also have the entire head height, as you can see I can stand up fully and uh, this is the benefit when you hire the high top camper van. Um, let's come and see the back of the van please. Now we are at the back of the van. Um, as you can see, this is a tailgate, so it opens up. That uh, is quite handy for protecting you, it's giving, giving you extra shelter for maybe rainy days or when it spits slightly from above. Um, in here is uh, the gas bottle. The gas bottle um, operates, as I said, the uh, two gas burner stove. And also you will find in here the extension lead. And this connects to the um, campsite and to the camper van. Um, so here's the plug for the um, camper van, and uh, it just nicely fits on here. Yeah. Um, so let me show you the uh, the next little cupboard that we have in here. This is where you keep all your cooking um, pans and pots, and the So when we close the tailgate, there's also the option um, free of charge that you could add a bike rack to your hire and that would fit nicely on the back of the camper van. Yes, and it would be suitable for carrying two, uh, two mountain bikes or two street bikes. Yeah. Um, let me show you inside the van please. There are facilities also for your plates, your cups, your cutlery and um, coffee and tea is provided um, when you're hiring a camper van. And also in here we have washing up facilities and we have further utensils 
in here. And also, the camper van has two tanks provided. One is the freshwater tank, your freshwater supply, that um, operates in the sink. And behind there is your uh, a tank for wastewater collection. So when we talk about your privacy in the van, this is provided on a night time by these blinds. These close nicely all the way around the van, um, apart from the back and the front. And the privacy is provided with these standard suction cup um, blinds. And as you can see, these are the blinds for the uh, upper space roof space and there's also beds. Um, let me show you how to assemble the beds downstairs. What you need to, um, to do so is um, we have provided mattress toppers, they are lovely and soft, um, memory foam in fact. Yeah. Um, but what we need to do firstly is we have removed the table, the foldable table, and we need to slide the bench all the way across to make use of entire space we have. There is a little lever in the middle. You just pull the lever and slide the bench forward all the way. Yeah. Under here is perfectly storage for all your boots and shoes and even when you drive in the, the blinds nicely fit in here. Um, as you can see there's also two levers on the side of the bench. We ignore the upper lever, we're just going to operate the lever down below on the side. And what you do is you push, you pull actually, you pull the lever upwards and the entire backrest folds down. Don't forget to remove those head rests, they store nicely in, in this space provided here under the seats. Um, then you move to the front. The front chair needs to be pulled all the way forward and also we need to remove the headrest. Um, and there's another lever on the side and it's just the same. You pull the lever and the entire backrest folds down and you can see that's the entire length of your bed. We then have to use those mattress toppers and we fold them out over the entire length so. and as you can see this is your bed pretty much made for the night the other side also is just the same he operates the beds the same way. So we are we are now at the end of our in little introductory video of our Mazda high top camper van. Um, if you have any further information or want any further details, please feel free to visit our website www.carlisle.com. You can find additional pictures or even information about optional extras that we offer. Um, and if you want any further details, please feel free to contact us, either myself, Jenny, or my partner, Tim. And we are glad to, uh, to help you if you want any further information. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we see you soon.